Israel has been attacking Iranian targets in Syria uh, quite uh, frequently uh, on, on a weekly basis. Um, Israel is widely believed to have carried out major attacks in Iran, inside Iran, explosions and paramilitary attacks. And this particular attack fits the pattern what the Israeli prime minister is trying to do, is to really provoke Iran to retaliate and ultimately to trigger an American-Iranian uh, confrontation before the end of this administration in, in the next 50 days. Because the Israeli prime minister and other states in the region uh, are basically anxious that the next uh, U.S. administration will likely engage Iran and try to salvage the nuclear deal. So the next 50 days, uh, what you're seeing in Syria, inside Iran and the assassination of Iranian uh, top nuclear si scientists, fits the pattern of Israel's strategy, is to really push Iran's back to the wall, uh, uh, Iran's back to the wall and, and force it to retaliate. My take on it, Paula, is that Iran has shown considerable restraint. Mm -hmm. uh, Iranian leaders do not really want to provide the pretext and the ammunition for the Trump administration to carry out a devastating, devastating attacks against their nuclear and ballistic missiles. And what could change that calculus for them, Fawaz? That's what I want to know, because it is clear that Iran has a lot to gain from a Biden administration here, uh, but it, it's not a done deal. It won't be a new done deal. You know, we had Ramin in Tehran talk about the grassroots, right, and, and how difficult this is going to be in Iran to go back to the table with a U.S. government, any U.S. government. Uh, uh, you, you're absolutely correct. Uh, I mean, any kind of a deal between the Biden administration and Iran is going to be extremely difficult, uh, given what has happened uh, in the past uh, year or so. We're not just talking about the killing of the top Iranian scientists. We're also talking about the assassination of the top Iranian general, Soleimani. If you really ask me about the big picture, you have had the details from your, 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 your many report, uh, reporters in the field. If you ask me the big picture, we will, historians, and I could be wrong, historians will look at this particular period about the Trump administration, because we say that some actions produce the opposite results from their intended consequences. And what we might, the unintended consequences is that the Trump administration, by pulling out of the nuclear deal with Iran, which was signed by President Obama, by assassinating General Soleimani, and now by Israel uh, assassinating, uh, you know, Fakhri Zada, the top uh, scientist, it, it will not only complicate U.S.-Iranian relations, we will look at this particular period as basically a tipping point in speeding up Iran's acquisition of a, an atomic bomb. 